Hello, everybody. It's Dr. Matthew Johnson. It is Monday, September 11th, 9-11. Happy flying today. Okay. September 11th, 2023. It is 9.40 a.m. in the morning, and this is our last round of testimonials from Camp Jean Nu, and then Cynthia and I are wrapping up camp. We'll be doing our own night sits and our own sleepovers by ourselves all winter long. <laughs> Before everybody comes back next summer, if there's something to come back to. <laughs> so let's get the testimonials going. Hi. Hi. Who are you? Christina Garza, a.k.a. Keith Dodge. Keith, yeah. <laughs> Arlington, Texas. And last night I had a lot of, er, the whole weekend I've been having a lot of battery draining from my, um, flashlight which I put brand new bat it's a brand new flashlight and brand new batteries when I came and even that was happening to me this morning and I've also been seeing a lot of phosphorescent glowing um, sometimes in the distance but sometimes pretty close to my cot and at the beginning I tried to rationalize it but it would just disappear and no matter what um, viewpoint I tried to see it in the peripheral above below it was just gone so it's been very um, confirming and also just really have enjoyed the connections that I've made with the people and the conversations and I really look forward to coming again awesome thank you very much and and actually one of the things you left out yeah. is the physical proximity to the Seattle Seahawks. I was going to say, that go was Cowboys. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, whatever. You need therapy. Okay. <laughs> Hi, who are you? Ashley Jones from Fort Worth, Texas. And um, I had a really good time. And I saw some stuff that I can't explain. So, I don't know. I made some good connections and had a lot of fun. I'd come back for sure. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, it's good. You did good on camera. She's a Yay. little camera shy. Thank you very much. Hello. Hi. Who are you? Steve from Burlingame, California. And I'd um, like to thank everyone that I spent time here with this weekend. It was a great camp, Shah Nu. Um, I don't have anything big to say from yesterday other than um, Ron's uh, review of my watercolor painting. And uh, I thought when I finished and looked at it initially that uh, there can't be anything there. But we found two uh, Janu, I believe, uh, among other things in that painting. So that was, to me, that was tremendous. Our affirmation of things I'm doing in my home, at my home. Cool. So again, thank you, Matt. Thank you for letting me be here. And I look forward to coming another time. We look forward to having you back, sir. Thank you. Hello, who are you? I'm Stu from Royal City, Washington. Uh, last night at the night sit, we sat around the portal area and ran the machine, and I didn't see a thing. <laughs> there was supposedly a warrior standing pretty much right in front of us, but I couldn't see him at all, and I was really tired, so I got nothing for you, Matt. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're a Camp John New loser, Stuart. Yeah, I am. <laughs> okay. I was here with my birthday and I was a winner. We're getting hugs goodbye. I <laughs> got you on camera. You're going to have to take a shower after hugging that Cowboys fan. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go, Stu. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. Okay. Cola. Yes. Hello, who are you? I am John Fiorenza from Clayton, Oklahoma. Um, here with my wife, Tammy, and we've had a wonderful experience here at Camp Janu. Um, last night at the uh, portal, um, I was able to see a very, very light green and red hue down the runway area. And um, did see some sparkles or small <coughs> orbs up in the trees. And if I really, really relaxed my eyes, um, I think I could see a grid. Oh, cool. Yeah, just really had to really focus and do that. And other than that, last night was uh, wonderful. Everybody here have had a really good time meeting everybody. Um, again, thank you um, to uh, Cynthia and Matt. 
uh, for your hospitality. <coughs> and we will definitely come back next year. Cool. Looking awesome. forward to that. Thank you. <coughs> Hello, who are you? I'm Daniel from <laughs> Kaysville, Utah. Um, and so blind guy can't the, see. The, the see blind the guy. Man. I see what I see in my mind's eye. Uh, it's just darkness, but I will pick up on the Janu as glowing figures and um, in your mind's eye. In my mind's eye, yeah. just glowing figures, sometimes head, shoulders, sometimes facial features, and mm -hmm. that sort of thing. So uh, that's my special way of seeing it, just in case anyone's wondering or how is he able to see anything when he can't see? Right. That's how. Okay. So, Thank you. Um, just get that out of the way. <laughs> but um, yesterday, um, I had a group of us, uh, Stu, Tammy, um, Cindy was down there with us. Uh, we just went down to the campfire bowl down there and just started singing songs to the little ones and had a little trouble getting started at first, but once we got going we were playing songs and just having a good time and talking and hanging out with the little ones and as i was sitting there with the guitar across my knee i felt the guitar just go boom just <laughs> off to the side it wasn't a push forward so it wasn't cindy knocking it i don't think you nope had i didn't touch it nope so yeah a little john new pushed the guitar to the side so that was kind of cool um but enjoyed singing for them and had a good time with that. Last night at the night sit up by the portal, um, of course seeing the little ones and the, <coughs> the, the machine going, the energy that it gives, I can see that. Now I was just gonna ask, can you see that in your mind's eye? The, uh, yes. The energy from the machine? It actually is a little glowing area and it pulses. Oh wow. That's so, cool. And when you turn it off, yeah. it, the pulsing will actually slow down as it's slowing down. Wow. So it's okay. really kind of cool. Yeah. I picked up on that when I first came across it in uh, 2021. Mm -hmm. So, um, but, but as the portal was opening and things coming through, um, couldn't see a whole lot until the last group. And I believe there was one just kind of standing in front of me. So so that was kind of cool to pick up on our new visitor or new, new friends, new um, habitants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but other than that, that was pretty much what I got. Okay, thank you, sir. Yes. Hi, I'm Pamela from Rainier, Washington, and I'm always here. I'm almost like a permanent fixture. And um, <laughs> last night I was testing my camera in the back room with the lights off so that I could see that it wouldn't flash. And it didn't flash, but what happened was a bunch of orbs grouped around my computer and over my keyboard, and they decided to show up for the photo session. <laughs> Down by there, the only thing I captured was everybody's lights on their cell phones or the lights above the garden. So I went to bed and had great sleep. It's been a wonderful weekend with everybody. It's so much to share and give here. So I suggest you come. Okay. Thank you, Pam. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. I'm Cindy from Royal City, Washington. Um, my most eventful night was Saturday, which I talked about yesterday uh, when we would went down to the fire pit and was listening to Dan Tammy was with us and she said there was a little one walking behind my chair but as far as the night sit last night I was pretty tired so it was pretty uneventful for me so I did notice I didn't see it when it happened but I did notice the solar lights did go out at the garden they never go out yeah the solar lights were off yeah so I didn't see it when it happened but I saw it after the fact yeah so Okay. Other than that, I'm hoping I caught something with some photos. Yes, yes, and make sure everybody go through those photos and get them back and to me. As usual, it's been a great weekend. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Cindy. Hi, who are you? Hi, I'm Bobby from Battleground. 
Battleground um, what? Washington. Okay, thank you. <laughs> no, I don't think there is a battleground Canada. Yeah. <laughs> a. a. <laughs> anyway, uh, last night was very eventful for me. Um, I saw. I got to see the tunnel. I could see all the way to the bottom of the tunnel, in or the, what it seemed like. In the portal in area? In the portal, okay. yes. It, it, it okay. seemed like a tunnel to me, but I know it was the portal. <clears throat> okay. And it was a, a real dim red color mm -hmm. when yep. it was open, mm -hmm. and I could see like thousands or hundreds of heads. Mm -hmm. I couldn't see the bodies, right. but I saw the heads, yeah. and there were just hundreds and thousands i can't say how many there were mm -hmm. that were would be coming up i right. did not see them as they exited the portal mm -hmm. but i saw them moving their way up you know just the the extreme amount of beings that were coming up mm -hmm. and i got to see that for a long time and when we would turn off the energy um machine the red glow light would go away and the and the portal would close up is what I'm thinking because the red glow would go away mm -hmm. until it got ready for another group to come through and we turned the energy back on. Then it got real dim red again. So I got to see a lot last night. I did see the, um, right as the um, light went off on the garden area, the solar light, mm -hmm. and I've never seen that go off before. It's nope. always been on. Yep in the evening so that was that was really strange <coughs> but um other than that it was it was extremely eventful last night for me i saw more than i think i've ever seen cool and um i just want to thank matt and cynthia and all of my new friends and all of my older friends um for the wonderful weekend it's just been so enjoyable yes absolutely. thank you bobby mm -hmm. hello Hi, my name is Julie and I hail from Southern California down San Diego area and uh, last night was very, very eventful. I've been tired the previous two nights to really get anything out of the night sits, but last night was wonderful. Um, down by the portal area, I kind of felt a little bit of <clears throat> reaction from the machine that was on. And so I moved away from it and up towards the front where I could get a better view and I didn't have any distractions in the periphery, you know, lights-wise or camera-wise. And I could really see down um, into the portal area. Now, I, I didn't see exactly what some other people saw, but uh, I didn't see any beings but per se, but I did see a lot of twinkle lights, a lot of red lights, a lot of glowing uh, light. Um, turning red and I saw a lot of I call them misty wisps and I saw a lot of movement with the white uh, Mists around cool really cool. I did see flashes too, faint flashes here and there So it was kind of a, a nice light show to look down into the portal area. Awesome. Um, very very cool and um, Last night I did uh, turn on I have a Sleeping app that's supposed to monitor how you sleep and I was pleasantly surprised last year, coming home from camp, that I had captured some Jean Yu chatter on my app, labeled as snoring. Well, it wasn't snoring. And I thought, well, I'll do that this year, see if I can capture that up here. And I got six recordings of what is probably Jean Yu, not snoring. So, ah, um, cool. I have to go through that later and dissect it a little bit. So I'm excited about that. Yeah. And um, it, it's been a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Highly recommended to come up and immerse yourself in a very wonderful social, spiritual, um, enlightening experience. Really great. Thank you, Julie. We're going to have to talk with Todd about whether or not he's hearing Jean Nu chatter all night long in bed. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, the alternative. Thanks, Julie. Hi, who are you? I am Jesse, and I'm from Federal Way, Washington. Um, it's been an, I'm a first timer. Um, it's been there's no words. It, the, the top word would be majorly incredible, and that's an understatement. I've met some really cool people. I've learned a new word 
Cola. A cola. And um, the food's great. But as far as the curriculum activities go, Friday night was um, pretty um, not calming for me. I had too much going on in my head, um, thinking about changing my oil and bills to pay. And then mm. people were just saying, calm down, calm down, you know, erase your mind almost. Saturday night was a little bit better. There are a few things that caught my attention after the fact. And um, last night was the grand finale. It was, <laughs> it was totally amazing. You looked down where the porthole was, and all these things that Matt were seeing, it's like, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I want to see it. I want to see it. And pretty soon I just laid back, and... Um, all these lights, the cameras were just upsetting me. I almost used a different word. But um, <laughs> upsetting because you couldn't really see, but yet you wanted to see. Then I saw some bright lights on the bottom of where the porthole, I guess, was. But when the garden light was on and those lights went, finally I just started going like this, tunneling my mm -hmm. eyes and looking in. And I could see... Um, shadow figures like through um the best way i can describe it is water almost like looking through water to the other side but then i could see all these things crawling it's almost like ants crawling out of something but a lot of them and they had big legs and it was all shadows mm -hmm. it was just black shadows but i watched that for a while all like this but once i took those away i couldn't see anything so um, that was really incredibly cool. And then I decided to come up when you guys were all still down there. I just kind of got tired and went, okay, I can't see anymore. This is giving me a headache. And I realized it was maybe that energy box. So I brought my chair up, put it away. Then I thought, no, this is, I'm new here. So let me go back down. So I walked back to the end of the um, garage and sat on top uh, where the port, where the porches, where those cinder blocks were, and I didn't do anything, and all of a sudden that cinder blocks fell over, and oh that's what that was. I thought somebody fell over. <laughs> I didn't touch it or anything. I didn't do it. I, I don't know if it broke or whatever, but I did not do it. And then this morning uh -huh. when I went to go pick it back up, somebody had already picked it up, or somehow it got back up there. So. Okay. That was kind of interesting because no one knew where really it came from or that I'd done it. They had heard it and they said, oh, that's Jesse. <laughs> um, so, but anyway, this has been a wonderful experience and I apologize for being so hyper. Matt has given me a prescription of some sort too. No, a natural <laughs> supplement <laughs> referral. I don't go. prescribe um, which for I'm the record. Try yep. and, um Again, it's been a great, great experience. Thank you so much, Matt and Cynthia, for just hosting your beautiful home. Yeah, thank you. It's just been wonderful. I highly, highly recommend it. Coming in here with a um, uh, uh, skeptical but great positive attitude, I'm leaving with an over-the-top awe. Awesome. And I cola you. Yeah, cola. Okay, cola. thank you. Thank you very much. Is that like 20 minutes? No. Yeah, no, you did good. Okay, hello. Who are you? Uh, I'm Christine. I'm from Nanaimo, BC, Canada. A. a. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't really see a whole lot last night. I did see movement. I was looking more to the left of the portal area as they were coming through, and mm -hmm. I did catch movement on the side there, and... Uh, Saw some uh, red up in the trees, so I'm assuming that was one of the warriors there. Mm -hmm. um, I did stand close to the machine at one point over at that side, and as I was standing, I, I felt kind of dizzy, so I would move away, and then I would feel okay. That was kind of mm -hmm. that was kind of cool, and um, yeah, it's been a great weekend. I love coming down, visiting, making new friends, seeing old friends, seeing you guys. Thank you very much for having me here, and uh, I'll see you again. Awesome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey. 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 Hi, Hi, who are you? Uh, my name is Tammy. Um, I'm from Clayton, Oklahoma, and with my husband John here, and um, we've had a great time. We arrived on Friday. Friday was 
a very quiet night and surprisingly on a cot I didn't expect to sleep so well but I slept like a baby and um, had a good night and Saturday was a wild ride for me um, with some a lot of um, action <laughs> um, and um, back at our campsite because we're out in the back 40 yes you are and um, and then last night um, I didn't see a whole lot at the portal area other than I started to see part of the grid mm -hmm. area mm -hmm. back in there um, which I was surprised I could see because I have a hard time seeing that stuff um, with the genou it's more um, vocalization and coming up and touching me than it is more being able to see other than their shadows running by um, so it's a little harder for me to see down there so I was surprised I saw some of the this uh, what looked like a grid um, and then I did what Stu had done Stuart where he said he took off one shoe and one shoe on he put his feet Grounded. flat on the ground so I thought heck why not I'll, I'll try that so I took both my shoes off put my feet flat on the ground and um, could feel that energy coming up from the machine and at one point it got so intense my whole gut and everything was going oh and I thought oh you know I'm gonna go up to the house and kind of back away for a little bit and I did and every time I can't explain it I talked to Daniel about this this morning um, when I went to close my eyes because it was the machine was overwhelming me I was every time I closed my eyes when I'd open my eyes it went away but when my eyes closed I was getting spiraling one direction and in that one another spiraling in this direction and it looked like it had um, what do you call it like the, the teeth on a on a wheel gear? Uh, yeah gear. like gears and I was seeing like um, the teeth on yeah, the gear well, like the you know like a, the spokes on yes. a wagon train wheel right I was getting that too and every time I went to close my eyes because it was that strong mm -hmm. I was getting that and there they, with all of this doing that mm -hmm. I had I would say like four or five of the wheels turning mm -hmm. and they all were so it was almost felt like a portal thing in my eyes right. where I could see that so that was really um, I couldn't explain it mm -hmm. but um, it stayed with me for <laughs> for maybe about 10 minutes I, I felt like that so you guys wonder why I left and came back last night that's what was going on with me so I, after that I got back and put my shoes on so <laughs> I was done with that okay. and then um, just real quick last night um, I was pretty tired from being up pretty much the majority of the whole night uh, Saturday night with the Janu because like I said it was a wild ride and couldn't obviously they weren't gonna let me sleep um, I was pretty surrounded so um, I was I was tired by last night, so I told the Janu, I, you know, they did a little vocalizations. I heard some walking around, um, but um, I just told them I was tired. I was going to go to sleep, and they respected me for that. And, mm -hmm. But they did say goodbye to me this morning. No, oh, they did. Mm -hmm. How? Uh, vocalizations. <coughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So um, I'll I'll miss them greatly, but I'm going home to many many families mm -hmm. of Janu that are. At our home, so yep. I'm looking forward to seeing them again. Awesome, and eventually you're going to learn their names. Yep. And let me know Hopefully about soon. it. Soon. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Thank you, Matt, and thank you, by the way, for all that you and Cynthia did. Yeah. Um, to put this all together, and to all my new friends that I've made here, I can't wait to see them again. And um, um, if you're, you know, on the fence about coming to Camp Janu make that trip out here you won't be sorry you really will be just astounded and amazed by what you're going to experience it's once in a lifetime thank you very yeah. much yeah. hello who are you I'm terry hints from moses lake moses lake what washington there we go good job yeah I, all i saw last night at the portal it's just like a river River float, floating energy like come mm -hmm. through the hole mm -hmm. from, the, from, from the tunnel. Okay. And very li lightly I see little red lights now and then. Mm -hmm. 
Then I took my shoe off and felt the vibration from the machine. Mm -hmm. And then that, that's all I saw. Okay. Thank you, sir. Hello. Hola, cola. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my name is Ron. I'm from Yelm, Washington. And I'll start off by uh, saying that I saw pretty much everything that Bobby had seen, you know, from uh, the portal opening, closing, going dark, uh, light, phosphorescent green, and some red sometimes. Uh, I saw movement of beings, not in detail, but I could see these shadows moving around. Uh, at one point, I did... Um, I think Joel beside me mentioned something about a tall being standing beside me, and you iterated it was a warrior. What I started perceiving in my mind, I could see in my mind's eye, he, a sword in front of him, the tip in the ground, and him holding the hilt like this, and he had armor on or, or a helmet or some kind, and, and I was just perceiving that in my head. So I didn't see with my eyes that. However, my greatest triumph that day was that uh, I gave the uh, interactive watercolor class and I facilitated it. It was, I think, one of the more successful classes we had. Everyone had some, at least ones that came to me, had some images in there that the Janu had painted us from everything from uh, grandsons to pets that they had and uh, other images, so people are very happy with what they uh, they got from the interaction with the Janu. So, other than that, um, that was it. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Hello. Hi, good morning. I'm Sharon from Battleground, Washington. Um, I didn't see too much last night until the, after the third group came up, and I could kind of see some mist or fog kind of um, down by the portal area. Um, but I really enjoyed Matt's interpretation or the, um, him telling what groups were coming through and we found out how many of each species from other worlds were coming through and joining us. Um, that was very interesting, the, the physiological, the shapes, the sizes, the, the look of them was, was amazing. It's, um, it's very cool that that Matt has the ability to see them and then uh, let us know. But um, it was a very interesting, interesting night, I thought. And, um, and that's about all I have to say about last night. But it's uh, very cool, and this is a wonderful, wonderful experience. Uh, it's my ninth time. I'm a habitual um, attendee, and uh, I, I love it. It's just um, part of my new norm. And... Um, Double digits next time, baby. I know. I'm going to be there. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's great. It's uh, always experience something new and different at every camp. Mm -hmm. um, it might be a little bit more. It might be a little bit less, but it's different. Mm -hmm. um, so it's uh, quite an education and a life-changing experience. Once you are, you have the uh, Janu with you, and which I do at home. Um, and so, and I bring them to camp with me. Um, they're always all really excited to come and, uh, and join the, the Janu here and reacquaint. So it's awesome. Met new friends and reacquainted with old friends. It's just a very loving, loving place. Um, you need to come. You need to come and experience for yourself. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. I know I recognize you from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Uh, Cynthia from Centralia, Washington. I got here by falling down the uh, rabbit hole after Matt, after we met at our 30th anniversary, or uh, high school reunion, rather. Um, let's see, last night, a uh, light show. Uh, didn't see any really distinct figures other than one small dark shape that went from left to right uh, across the middle of the area, and Matt saw it also. But lots and lots and lots of lights. And then it felt like... Uh, my right knee kept tingling or tickling, or so I kept reaching down and rubbing it, expecting it to be a dog. Uh, it wasn't a dog, so I'm not sure what's been going on, but my knee's been sore. So, um, And then last night I woke up in the middle of the night, and I heard the voices that Julie recorded. She was a couple of cots down from me, 
and I laid there for probably about a minute before I went back to sleep mm -hmm. and um, heard uh, indistinct but definite voices, and they were not so, human voices. So you heard Janu voices, right? In my head. Not, snor <laughs> not snoring. Not snoring. It oh. was definitely vocalizations. Okay, so. cool. And my thanks to everybody. Uh, it's been a wonderful weekend, and you are the ones who make this magical, so thank you all for being here. Thank, thank you. you. Thank thank you. you. Well, there you have it, boys and girls. Another successful, awesome, magical Camp John New experience. We're wrapping it up for 2023. And I'm getting used to this. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to su subscribe to the channel. Okay, do that pretty please. And go to jeanu.com, X-A-N-U-E.com. You can order books there. You can sign up for the camps next summer in 2024, after the first of the year, I might add. So we're not going to set those dates up until after January 1124. Then you can sign up for group, okay? So, and we have a spring cleanup in May of next year. If you come and help clean up Camp John New Saturday and Sunday... For each full day you work, you'll get a free weekend of camp. So if you work Saturday and Sunday, that's two camps you get for free. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the videos. And don't sign off yet because Jane had to leave early. So I filmed her testimonial separately. I'm going to add it to the end of this video. So watch her testimonial too before you uh, shut down the video. God bless. Kola. You're probably wondering what that means. Come to Camp John New and find out. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Matthew Johnson again. Um, I'm interviewing one of our Camp John New attendees. Uh, she has to depart early before we do the group testimonials. Um, so I'm going to get her experience in before she departs. Take it away. Who are you and where are you from? My name is Jane, and I'm from Roy, Washington. That's uh, just south uh, east of Olympia, Washington. And this is my second um, wonderful experience with the Jean Nou here at Camp Jean Nou. And I highly recommend it to anyone watching this video to come and visit Dr. Matt and Cynthia here. It's an experience of a lifetime. Um, I just wanted to. Uh, give a little uh, explanation of what I did uh, or what we experienced last night. We brought in some beautiful beings from other dimensions and other galaxies that are, um, are coming to help us and to be part of our, uh, our war against evil to help us. And uh, the frequency there was absolutely beautiful. You, my body was all lit up and, you know, hair standing on end and emotional, uh, emotions, you know, behind my eyes. And um, we had a warrior, Jean Nou, standing right in front of us for most of the uh, evening while the uh, groups were coming through the portal. And it was just magnificent. And um, when when I was trying to focus on the uh, warrior Jean Nou in front of us, I just saw kind of a mistiness to him. And that's all that I can expect for me right now because I'm still a newbie at this. And um, then uh, later on uh, this morning, uh, probably I see, think about three, I was uh, woken up and there was a beautiful howl and it was not a dog but it was not a coyote, not a coyote. It was something that just echoed through the trees. And, um, it's, it, this experience is so, so important for humanity, for each one of us to experience and to grow. And I hope that everyone, you know, that are, is interested in this or feel pulled to come here and to experience all. Okay. Thank you, Jane. Oh, thank you. Hello, who are you and where are you from? My name is Janice and I am from Bremerton, Washington. And I was here last night for the night sit at the portal. And 
as I was sitting there in the darkness and um, watching down the portal area, I did see a white, uh, well, first a red glow down below, and then I saw a white mist kind of, um, just, I, I don't know how to explain it exactly, but I saw the whiteness and I saw only one being, um, what I perceived as a being. I did see lights, or, you know, the twinkle lights, and I saw a pair of eyes, and um, that was about it for me. Okay, did you have a good time at camp? I had an absolutely wonderful time at camp, and I plan to come back again and again and again. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, and you're an awesome singer. Oh, well, thank you. And you'll be singing more songs in the future. Oh, I certainly hope so. I'll come better prepared next time. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Matthew. Hello, who are you and where are you from? My name is Scott. I am from Bremerton, Washington, and we come up on Saturday that much. Uh, last night, sitting by the portal, I didn't see a whole lot as far as uh, figures and whatnot, but I did see two images. I couldn't make out any kind of form or nothing, but I see two images going from kind of the edge of the portal off to the left into the woods. And one went first, and I seen a white, it was like a, just a very white strip at the up quite high on one. And it looked like, I don't know how to explain it other than like somebody wearing a headband or something because it was just level and it was not that long. And then shortly after that, I seen another one do the exact same thing, and he had the white stiff on top of him as well. And uh, other than that, it was, it was an awesome night. Uh, got to see the machine working, and uh, this was a fun weekend. I really enjoyed it, and wonderful people. The hosts are magnificent. They're the best, Matthew and Cynthia, and I truly thank them for all they've done and all they continue to do, and I've met a whole lot of wonderful people up here and made some good friends, and looking forward to seeing them again. Thank you. Hi, who are you and where are you from? Hi, my name's Steve. I'm from Excelsior Springs, Missouri, and that's my brother, and we... The, the better looking, the little and better looking brother. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Save the best. <laughs> Save the Thanks less. for that. Save the best for last. Best for last, okay. But yeah, last night uh, was pretty amazing. I seen lights flashing, and then when the um, the machine started the, and the portal opened, it, I seen the best I could explain it is just like a, a veil uh, movement, a lot of movement, but I couldn't just get a figure of it. So then I uh, watched, and, and it was like I seen just shapes, but I couldn't see what they were. Um, uh, just kind of a kind of a thin sheet of white and movement. It's kind of like watching uh, a microscope look of blood. There was a lot of movement, like a blood flowing through a vein mm -hmm. type. Yep. And. Um, and I didn't get any interact react, uh, interaction, but I, but I did see red glow and white both. Okay. So that was about it. And had a night's sleep. I didn't sleep real well, but that's because of my cot. <laughs> you guys camped far away from everybody, right? Yes, we way camped. down the hill. Way down the hill by down. the coyotes. Yeah. We were <laughs> yes. We were serenaded by the coyotes. Coyotes. Huh. Awesome. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for attending, and I hope to see you back next summer. Oh, let Absolutely. me add my thanks yeah. to you and Cynthia, too. You're great. And all the people here are just, you never met so much love and togetherness and camaraderie almost immediately. And uh, the great food and hospitality was just superb. It's like a big happy family. Awesome. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, as I said before, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And there's the funny bunny in the background. We'll see you guys next summer. Dr. J signing out. I'll have more videos on this channel between now and next summer, by the way. Keep your eyes open. Bye.
Good morning from Camp Jean New. Have a great day.